Hey, everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV, a special edition um, during the Vuelta. Uh, not about the Vuelta, <laughs> unfortunately, um, but the Master Blasters keep on trucking. Can't get enough of that hot stuff. Uh, the latest knuckle-headed doper amongst the Masters, Kyle Lagrange. Lagrange, not sure exactly how to pronounce the name, but um, be that as it may. Dana Point Grand Prix, one of the biggest races in Southern California amongst the Masters and amateurs and pros. Um, gave a sample in April. We're finding out now that it contained seven... <laughs> Wow, seven banned substances. That might be a new record. Uh, ben Johnson, way back in the uh, Olympics, many, many years ago, um, had two or three or four, but seven. Oh, my gosh. Why not go all the way? <laughs> why stop at seven? And why not some more effective things? like EPO, which, by the way, Kyle was already positive for when he's a professional cyclist on the um, rock racing days. Remember rock racing with fondness quite well myself? <laughs> um, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure that we didn't hear about this around the time that the A sample was uh, turned over to the authorities. And it, at the time... If I remember correctly, there was so many masters popped for drugs, I couldn't keep up on Bob Key TV. Ran out of time. But the sentence has been handed down. Eight years. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, when Kyle comes back to racing eight years from now, he goes right back on a big program, goes right back to winning races, <laughs> at least in the master blasting category, and... Quite frankly, it's embarrassing. And I've said this before. Presumably, you're not making uh, any kind of living for your family, family, which does not justify cheating with drugs, but it does make it perhaps a little bit more understanding. Some people uh, took exception to that and uh, tried to equate master's doping with doping on the professional level, but... I'm going to have to stick to my guns on this one. Um, it's cheating. It should not be pursued by anybody racing bikes um, or any other professional sport or any other sport. And if you're going to race, let me just be clear on this. If you're going to race, race clean. If you want to take drugs and ride your bike, um, feel free. I think... Uh, Plenty of opportunities to um, mollify, to, to uh, massage your ego. Plenty of avenues for that. Club rides all over the world, all the time. Um, Strava? Do they test for uh, Strava? <laughs> I'm not on Strava, but uh, if you want to ride your bike and take drugs, no problem. Um, I don't have a big problem with that. But don't race. Don't sign up for races where people are racing for prizes. And if you're a professional, trying to make a living. Um, but be that as it may, all of those considerations aside, it will be eight more years before Mr. Lagrange, Legrand, um, somebody please help me with the pronunciation. And also please let me know what you think about masters and doping. Um, does it seem like the most foolhardy form of cheating in all of cycling? <laughs> like it does to me, especially if you get caught, which you're going to get caught. If you keep winning master races and you keep doping, number one, uh, a lot of your competitors will be suspicious. will tell the governing body to check you in and out of competition and you will go down in flames. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, uh, best of luck. I hope you have a good explanation. Um, but I don't see, apart from ego gratification, self-centeredness, uh, egotism, 
uh, avarice, I mean, lust, um, greed. I mean, a lot of the deadly sins violated on this one, not just venial, but mortal sins. So, <laughs> And let this be a lesson to all you master blasters that are still doping. You're going to get busted and you're going to be on Bobkey TV for the worst possible reasons. Until next time, I'm sure I'll get plenty of comments on this. Adios. <laughs>